mod that allows me to um, get the followers to scale to my level. So what that does, essentially, is allow them to say, for instance, uh, have a, a follower leave the party, and I've already brought them back in, and uh, they all they're all scaled up. So I'm not I sure help? if uh, their skills scale up. I think I think her skills scaled up. Yeah. Okay. How cool. May I help you? Um, then I will do my. Let's see, dexterity went up, her, yep, all her base skills went up. All right, what about the other chick? Um, back, 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 uh, a little bit about her. 25, dodge, melee, yep, she has a really high dodge skill, holy shit. Her heal skill's kind of low, her firearms is up there, holy shit. Okay, yeah, she's definitely going to be a firearms character. That's cool, I'll take it. Um, How many? All right. Well, that is good. We actually have some decent characters now. How can I help you? It How looks like I... they might have raised their stats a little How bit. No, you? her strength is still the same. What about her? Well, yeah, her strength went up a little bit. How can That's I help? good. So now they're a little bit better off. Um, too bad she doesn't actually talk. Her tech is all the way up to 50. What skills does she know? Oh, wow. She just kind of said, fuck. Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> she said fuck healing after a while, and she just went straight to guns, I guess. She's like, oh, I hate this shit. Guns. Elixir of persuasion, physical prowess, and liquid of awareness. Hmm. Okay. Cool, I guess. She's not really that great of a character, but... So yeah, and pretty much now I have the the uh, mod that allows characters whenever they join the party um, they level up to my level. So in my opinion, it makes sense. So without that getting in the way, go ahead and just uh, get on with this. So this is the place that has the famed Azram Star passage. Well, um, okay. This is a little bit unusual. I do not remember at all being here. Period. Never have been here. Legish made him. Huh, okay. Well, she's dead. Not exactly sure how we're supposed to get across, but she's definitely dead. Alright. Seems like a odd place already. I'm not exactly sure what else to do here. How 
can I? All right, Magnus. It's, uh, How can I help? Let me take that. There we go. Awesome. So, um, what are we supposed to do here? Quite sure. Let's just go around, maybe. Hmm. Okay. This doesn't give him very much clues at all. Just a bunch of dead things now that I murdered them. there's some hidden path that I can cross, which I doubt it. None of these slabs seem to mean anything, or tables, or whatever the fuck they're supposed to be. I don't really see much to this place other than the blood that's on the walls. black chest that I found. That's it. Unless there's something around here. That looks like this is the edge of the woods. It's perfectly squared off, huh? It is actually perfectly squared off. Huh. Okay. way I could think of is using magic and it would require using a warp magic or something so this transport any tile of his choosing huh. I mean I do have enough intelligence to do the transfer so all right let's try this because I'm curious. Wait, how do I only have a tech of six? With a magic ability of... Okay, that makes no sense. What is going on here? I haven't got any new spells at all. So my tech ability is at six though. It's really strange. I don't know. I'm definitely getting the full points from the rings, though. Mm, maybe it's just bugged. Weird. Okay. Um. So. Uh. Nope. Not that. Uh. I need willpower, don't I? Yep. Need a willpower of six and nine. Yep. Don't have enough willpower to do that. Well, that ain't gonna happen. What in the world? Almost thought that spider was a monster. 
Well, a, a bad one. I almost thought it was gonna be like something we had to kill. Used here. No idea. Not very many clues in this place. You just kind of get warped here. That's the entrance, huh? That's it. One little, little entrance. Nothing else. Or is there more to this than just that? Nope, that seems to be it. Huh. Okay. Well, I have 12 points to spend, and I am not getting to... How much would you need for that? 18 willpower, so I would need to spend a lot of points. 15 willpower, okay. So if I want to 15 willpower, and then use all the points, let's see if that would do anything. Let's get the uh, warp spell out. Get that one and warp. Kinesis, unlocking cantrip. I mean, a lot of these are actually really useful. But admittedly, these these uh, all these spells are somewhat useful. Targets push back. Yeah, that's a, that's a useful to one. A wait, what? So you can't do it. Huh. Yep, that's not possible. So where's the path, huh? There's gotta be some sort of way to get across here. I'm guessing that's what the, the challenge is here, right? Somehow getting across? Or no? I'm confused. This fire is here for what reason? <laughs> There's not enough clues. Hmm. Actually, there may actually be a clue, and I just didn't see it. No, never mind. There's nothing here. I was thinking, oh, maybe there's something in between that crack. Nope. Okay. So... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, maybe... Maybe I just need to have a high enough... Throwing. Maybe I'm recognized? I don't know. I'm confused. Am I supposed to talk to the Plagueish Maiden, not kill her? <laughs> hmm. Odd. I don't know anymore. I'm gonna give up. I've done all I can. So the quest was... Retrieve Azram Star from Kanatha for Clarissa Shalmo and Blackroot. sit around any further, so. Moving on. Alright. What else can we do? 
go to the Betacon village, I guess. I tried, yeah. You can't, you can't hit it. The torches. They're not, they're not objects that you can actually throw a, um, a anything at. <laughs> Small camp, I'll check it out once we're going backwards. You know, back. First off, though, the Betocon village is uh, more important, I guess. Oh, it'd be nice, nice if I could actually see what I'm doing. Hold on. I'm gonna rest first. Alright. Back to this. So, the Betacon village, um... They attacked, I think, elven hunters and trapped them in a cage or something like that. Because the elven hunters were... I'm not quite sure what they were doing. Actually, it's been a while, so... talk to their leader, but while I'm here, there's heartstone all across the place, so let's go look for the heartstones. Hey, there's one. And probably another one around here somewhere. Wouldn't hurt to look around. There's another. Those aren't too easy to find. Maybe they're just sprawled around this specific area. Yeah, they seem to be kind of clustered around this circle. Maybe there's another one. Yep, there's another one right there. And another one, maybe? Possibly? No, I guess I'm, I'm just being too hopeful. Okay. That might be it. Alright, talk to the leader now.
We skin them. Huh. Skin our elders and our children and our women. Through their remains into the swamp. No rites of passage. No guide into the snake fathers. So he wants me to kill the um, the men responsible for killing his kind. Find Nazardin and kill the poachers of for Khan Karai. So I'm gonna go kill them. Poachers camp. Look at that. Definitely hit hard. Really hard. Alright, let's try to do that in daytime. Can't really see what the hell's going on in nighttime, so. Maybe being at daytime and actually. You know what? I'm gonna go turn based. This will probably help with, uh, the difficulty. Games, do turn based, yep, okay, cool. Save game real quick. Alrighty. Alright, here we go. This one down. Uh, cast some spells to uh, prepare. There we go. That should help. That didn't really help. Really? Definitely getting an advantage right now. <laughs> wow, the speed is ridiculous. Of course, turn-based, I don't know, the, the, the way turn-based and real-time work are just oh, wow. completely different. I've never seen such a storm. slowly approaches and then smack Wow That's a huge difference Big difference. Wow. <laughs> as far as the first combat, or that first fight, and now, it's a world of difference.
Why does Magnus have a boomerang? <laughs> I mean, I know I gave it to him, but why was he actually equipping it? Okay. No bullets, good. I'll hold on to these bullets for right now. Chain, chain mail. Elephant gun. Lovely. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All their stuff is locked. It's like no containers to drop shit. She'll deal with it. Oh, come space in here. There we go. And he's completely full. Well, almost. Almost completely full. Still at a moderate weight. Oh, come on. There we go. Weight has gone away. Awesome. Oh, well, they're dead. Guess uh, time to get the hell out of here. I think you can actually convince him to try to go away from murdering people. I'll try it. First though, I'm gonna... Well, nope, can't rest. Alright, whatever. Um, but I will switch off some gear so that I can adjust myself for this. Okay. Talk to him again, see if he'll change his mind.
keep meaning to save over there, but... <clears throat> trying to get him to... or trying to convince him that war is not the answer. Of course, that's easier said than done. I guess war is an answer, but it's not the solution. It's not going to keep them from getting killed. Okay. Well, <laughs> I still killed them, but I mean, I guess whatever. All right. Well, that's done. Oh. <laughs> I already killed him though. It's a little bit of a bug in the game, I guess. Well, maybe I can return to him and say that I killed them or whatever. <clears throat> He'll probably still accept it. Hmm. <laughs> well, the game definitely bugged out. <laughs> uh. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> it's already done. And it's not going to get changed or anything. So, whatever. Through the fire. That was a bad idea. <clears throat> well, she's dead. That sucks.
Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, great. Okay. I guess I can uh, take uh, one of their followers or whatever. Fuck, I did not see that at, at all. Magnus, How can I help you? hold on to this. No, he doesn't have any space. Okay, um, you can hold on to this then. Yeah, I didn't even see the... Okay, so there definitely is one of their warriors around here. He's talking about the the odd one. Um, oh, there he is. I think that's him. He seems a little odd. He's yellow. The other ones are red and blue and shit. Fuck yeah, Waroman. <laughs> See what you got, Waroman. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Bow of Terror. Man of War, yeah. How many? Well, yeah, of course, that's probably what the. Uh, they're resistant to poison, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're actually immune to poison. Um, give him the Ring of Protection. She still gets the defense from the poison ring. And what else? Um, grab that. Mm. Magnus. Oh, your boots, Magnus. I don't think he can actually equip these boots, but it's worth trying. Oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck things making sense, I guess. Okay, okay. Um, well then, if he can equip those boots, then he can possibly equip the dragon skin leather. Nope. He needs a certain size, doesn't he? Damn, he's got, yeah, he has a lot of strength. I forgot about that. All right, maybe he can equip certain things. Oh, of course, he's not gonna be able to equip that. All right. Let's see if uh, where is he on the? Oh, he's very magical. Holy shit. Lycanthropy, Entangle. What else do you got here? Blazing Speed, Tidal Force, Flood, Acid Rain, Plague of Insects, Summon Werewolf, Summon Shiver Beast. Lovely. Alright, yep. And he's completely neutral. Okay. Hmm. I think he might be large. Like a large leather oh, armor. That large uh, mystic leather that I had would be good for him. Okay. Um... How can I? See if Magnus has anything extra. Uh, not quite there yet. I'll just have Magnus hold on to the rest of that shit. So melee, dodge, and bow. Melee master, though. That's good. That means he's going to be a badass with a sword. Or any weapon, for that matter. How can I help? Any melee weapon. I just need to find him a good melee weapon. And obviously, we got nothing. Um, it's like you're... How can I help you? Nope. Grab that dagger, would you? I'll take that. Wait, what? Why doesn't he want the dagger? Huh. 
Okay. Um. Hmm. Odd. I don't know. Whatever. How can I? What's my weight? Light. Okay, we're good. All right. Cool. I'll take him. People are gonna freak out whenever they see him. What the fuck? See that. Okay. Oh, fuck, did I forget to grab what's his name? I think I did. I did, yep. There he is. God, really? <laughs> forgot that was even a thing. Just go talk to the dude, seriously, dude. Good thing I didn't save at Kintara. That would have been really annoying. Having to walk right back. I literally just fucking let him go. What? <laughs> I found the lost hunter. What is going on here? Actually, wait until I see him leave. Okay, he disappeared. Cool. So, come on, game. Don't fuck up on manga. <laughs> like, seriously, he, he just fucking left. That means I successfully did the quest. What's going on here?
Okay, come on now. There we go. Found him. Yay, we win. And I got an element chain now because of it. That's cool, I guess. Oh yeah, the lair of Bellarone Grim. Stonecutter Clan part, I guess. place that has a whole bunch of zombies. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Lovely place. Just a lovely little place. Alright, um, before we actually do this, I need to go to, to Tarant. Should have thought further about it, but yeah, I'm overloaded on gear, so time to drop at Tarant again. As much as I want to continue that quest, I'd rather not be weighed down on gear again. Oh my god, would you stop with this bullshit? First off, we need to wait till morning. And Gilbert Bates is definitely wanna, gonna wanna know about what happened, or the current events of things.
sell these robes to this uh, junker dude. The only one, I think he's the only one that'll buy them, surprisingly. Really? Come on now. Hold on. Having client issues. fucking end it. God, this is fucking annoying. Fucking unstable ass client. God fucking damn it. I'm all the way back here. <sighs> okay. Well. Alright. Guess we'll just um, figure this out. First off, don't need that. How may I help? Second off, I'll take all those. Bullshit, please. Game. Okay. I'm just trying to get through this. Could do without all the bugs and shit. And crashing and all that other bullshit. I'm adjusting the CPU settings for the games. Or the game and the and the OBS. Not sure if that was a stable save. There we go. Maybe that'll be a little better. Seemed very sketchy when I saved there for a second. Alright, wait till morning. I swear this game's so unstable. that it'll take. Seven fifty versus eight seventy five. Nah.
she's actually very skilled with guns. I'll eventually get her set up for that, but for right now, I'll pass. Got some extra gears and whatnot. Yeah, give me that bow. How may I do with the lizard dude. Oh, this game is so annoying. Hold on, I'll figure out what I do with them. I think I accidentally told him to s sit there or whatever. God fucking damn it. Ugh, oh, it's fucking annoying. He won't fall on noble souls because of uh, the helmet that I put on him. <laughs> so if a character's alignment is even on the negative side, just a little bit on the negative side, that can deter them from wanting to follow you if you're very, I guess, noble, as he called it. So. And it's just a character mechanic, or a, a complete game mechanic as far as relationships with characters, so it's not like it's an individual character personality. That's the reason why it's so annoying. The fact that it's all across. Give me the fucking armor. The item's too heavy? Really? Okay. Might be once I hand over the helmet. This is just a test. He might have automatically left the party. Yeah, I see. He automatically leaves the party. Sorry, warm blood, I don't follow the noblest of souls. That's really dumb. Okay, so I cannot put that helmet on him, no matter what. That's really, really, really retarded. Yeah, it's a dumb helmet. I mean, it's a great helmet, but it's dumb that the alignment whole thing fucks me over again. I swear, alignment's such a pain in the ass in this game. But yeah, I mean, it's not like it's a terrible helmet, it's just, it's just because of the way that the whole alignment system works out. That happens instead. Disappointing. Can have some really great characters, but nope, because of alignment. Even if they're like just a little bit bad, like not even 
probably like just negative one percent is enough to for them to not join the party if they're if I'm. I didn't mean to take that. Whoops. How may I Let's see which bow is better? One to eighteen damage uh, range of twenty. One to twenty-four damage range to twenty. Uh, fifty plus fifty crit for animals. Their one's kind of interesting, to be honest. They're both very light. I really don't think it matters. Just have both, I guess. Alright. Um, I'm gonna give her more arrows. I think I'm gonna give her a shit ton of arrows and just have her go ham on some mobs. I'm sure she'll like that. I don't think I can ever be in an active fight, though, with her real-time fight with her with her bow and arrow that's, that's a whole lot of bad any bow and arrow characters or gun characters or throwing characters for that matter my character for instance would automatically retaliate with uh, trying to kill them if they hit me since I have the auto attack function set Um, okay. Let's see what we've got here. Can you hold on to that, my friend? So we got a techie. We got a magic only person. We got ourselves a also magic, but he's probably large equipment, so I need to go find him a large, that large leather armor that I have, mystic leather that I have. I think we'll be good. Tesla gun. Huh. Okay. Meh. I'll pass. I'm not really into guns. Well, fuck it. Yep. You know what? I'll give it a shot. Maybe what's her name will find. Find it cool. Much gunsmithing do I have to have for it though? Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's a blade launcher. Never mind. So the Tesla gun would probably be... Oh, there we go. Yo, that's still a lot. Holy shit. Tesla rod plus the Vindigoth Vindigrothian sheet metal. Fuck. That's a lot. That's a lot of effort. He walks very slow. It's not a very fast character at all. Huh. Speaking of. Got the boots for him. I'll find some other items for his speed. Uh, I think I have some items in mind. First, I need to go in here. Here we go. Alright. So maybe he'll like the arcane axe? I don't know. Throw that on him as well. Try that as well. Anything else in here that might be useful? I mean, there's a lot of shit in here that could be useful, but it depends on how I set it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and learn that pyrotechnic bow. It's not like I can sell the schematics back anyways. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, he only can only attack with his hands, looks like. Yeah. Nice little arsenal. Fucking everything. Just everything. Alright, so maybe... Nope. You can't wear that either. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm about to have even more of an arsenal. Oh, too much weight, huh? Okay, guard leather, guard leather. I'll okay, just throw it all in there. Guess these can go in there as well. Not that I'm gonna need them for anything. Anything else? Another shit. <laughs> okay. Well then. So we can't use an actual weapon. Can he use any of these? No. So how can he use only a bow, but he can't use like a sword or something? That's, I find that very odd. Can he just not like hit a certain way? Can he use throwing weapons, maybe? Where's another throwing weapon? Because when I had one. How may I help? She already has her boots, right? Yeah. He has his boots. Yep. Okay. Well, my arsenal is not at all useful for him. That's, uh, <laughs> disappointing. It's, uh, really disappointing, actually. What about gloves? Can you use gloves? Wow, he sells these, but he won't buy them from me. That makes a lot of sense, right? Okay. So I wonder... Oh, he can carry a throwing weapon. It's not very effective, though. <laughs> You're better off just using him. his own hands, I guess. Oh, envenomed axe or envenomed sword? Five thirty six coins, huh? I don't know anymore. I'm losing hope in this. <laughs> Thought he was going to be a great character, but yeah, he can barely equip anything. Let alone a... I wonder if he can wear a shield. Can he wear a shield? Let's find out. Nope. That is a big nope. Okay. Another place that has, well, that might have those magical gloves, and that's the, uh. 
the appraiser or whatever she's called. In a second, I'm gonna go ahead and toss these boots in the junkers shop. Nobody else is gonna take them. Sad day. See ya, boots. How can I help you? Hmm. Nope. That's disappointing. Well then. <sighs> okay. I gave up on trying to find that. Fuck it. Whatever. I was trying to get gloves for him, but can't find anything. Need the uh, the bonus dex gloves. Let's go talk to Bates. Alright, Gilbert. Then I will say You have returned. Tell me what news. It can't be. What possible purpose could that have served? But why? And to think my life has been conducted under the shadow of guilt for no reason save it fit the heinous machinations of the Dark Elves. I must think on this. But here, please take these coins for all your troubles. You have returned. I mean, money's great and all, but I wanted more than that. I mean, not really the money. I wanted more of the, I don't know, a response, I guess. Oh, right. Uh, we can go ahead and make that iron key. That's right. Let's go ahead and do that. There's that mithril metal. Mithril ore. There we go. Found that. Alright. Um, is there any gloves in here? Maybe? No? Of all things. I have way too many chest pieces and armor and shit. Ugh, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and How can I help? grab this shit. Oh, I forgot about the guns. Toss that in there. These will go to the rifle seller, though. There we go. Toss that in there as well. Elephant gun's gonna stay in there, though. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it does. Sometimes. But yeah, I guess Gilbert is, like, a good example of people that think that money solves all the problems in the world, but it doesn't. 
Yay! Okay. Shit's been sold. Great. Um, right, the key. Okay, so... Need the... Mm, no. Mm, yep, that's what we need right there, that iron key. Awesome. Yeah. It's a lot of mithril ore just for... Just for one little iron key. That thing better be fucking worth it. Actually, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a clue to the Iron Clan, so it's definitely worth it, but still. Using up Mithril Ore is very, very valuable. Ancient Iron Drum. Map to the Places of Voices. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, guess that's it. Cool. I'm on a way out of this place. Um, hmm. The boil. Yeah. Take me there. Get me out of here. Seriously, I need to get out of here. Thank you. Awesome. Alright. I don't really need this map anymore, How may but. I? Then I will do my... How may I? Whatever. Put it right there. Uh. Iron, ancient iron drum. I'm not sure if I what I can do with these. Fate a symbol carved on the drum surface. Can't remember what the purpose of these are. I'll just hold on to them for right now. Have them in the shortcut menu. It's on Windows 10. I'm running it on Windows 10. Places of the Lost Voices. All right. I know I said I was going to go to the stone Stonecutter Clan, but uh, Iron Clan quest takes precedence over everything. <laughs> I love how a boomerang will just rip a person in half. It's pretty. It's a pretty badass boomerang. Damn. Good shit. Medical spider. Good shit. Just gonna take the robes. Not gonna bother with the daggers. Alright, Magnus, you're holding on to more shit. Thanks. Maru. Huh. Was he already? Okay, he was already 50. There was no reason for me to reload. I was concerned about possibly losing reaction. But no. Why would the game ask me to quit? It's another bug with the thing. The only reason why I'm having so many issues with mine is because I have mods on mine. The normal game works just fine. It's just I put a lot of mods on mine and I. I'm using it in Windows mode, or windowed mode. So, no, I do not want to quit. Can you stop asking me those questions? So, whenever I tap out of the, the window, or the screen... No, stop, stop. Save game. No, no game. No. Okay. No. Great. Okay. Hold on. 
<clears throat> yep, fucking game bugged out. No, stop. Ugh, fucking game bugged out. Stop doing that. Stop. Ah, stop with the qu do you want to quit? Hold on. Save game as a different five. No, stop. Hold on. Ah. <clears throat> I fucked up. I royally fucked up by saving whenever it asked me that. I should have just loaded the game. You gonna ask me anymore? I hope not. Go ahead and save the game. No, stop that. I'm just gonna have to deal with it this whole time. That's great. Awesome. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get asked every time. Every fucking time I go into a new instance. Do you wanna quit? Do you wanna quit? Do you wanna quit? That's fucking great. It's just fucking lovely. God fucking damn it with this window. Stop fucking up. <clears throat> God, I hate this. What is going on here? <clears throat> no, stop. No, stop. I'm trying to figure out how the hell to fix this bullshit. <sighs> it's still gonna keep on asking me. You know what? I'll just get over it. Fuck it. Whatever. I'm done. Done fucking get caring. If it's just gonna ask me that every time, I'll just fucking get over the bullshit of it. Whatever. Details. <coughs> Adjusting the CPU affinities for the game. <coughs> God. <coughs> Congested. Okay, cool. There we go. Great. I'm good. Alright, so we're in the place of the lost voices. keep on saving to see make sure that it doesn't try to okay it's not asking me anymore do I want to quit so maybe it fixed itself maybe just maybe Obviously, it did not agree with that. Okay. So... Obviously a very old technology. Supposed to trigger a quest. Okay, there we go. I heard what it seemed to be a recorded voice from a strange device that I presume was built thousands of years ago by the Iron Clan. 
It told me to find the Book of Durin's Truth. Okay, cool. There we go. So, what's that? What does that mean for the quest? I got a new quest marker? Nope. Uh, kill the poachers. Yeah, or I did that, but in, in the game, bugged out. Whatever. Um. to find the lost burial ground of the Iron Clan and retrieve the Durin Stone. Okay. Book Durin's Truth. Okay. And in it lies the key of which I seek. Or something like that. weird that that's all this place is for. No! Stop that. Stop doing that. Please. No, I do not want to quit. God, you're annoying. No. Stop. 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 going crazy. Locked. Okay. Of course. Of course it's locked. Alright. Let's go down here.
spider. Ever so slowly creeping. Good shit. Why I have to get all the way up in the anime still fucking confuses me. But whatever. Slave. It's a lot of slaves. I mean, really, they're just reskinned mummies, but. Eh, whatever. Definitely gotta walk slowly to get over here. I think they do a lot of damage, though, if I remember correctly. Did he just summon a fucking rock stone mob thing? Why do you have to go all the way around? Fucking weird ass spider. Oh, he went over to heal me. <laughs> Great. Aww. Yay, level up. everybody. <laughs> Get on, bitch.
That was weird. That was really weird. I don't even know what the fuck just happened. I'm confused as fuck right now. What the fuck? Yay, we're all level 45. Yay. certain key to get in there. There's a key somewhere around here that I just don't know about. I didn't really think about there being a key just laying around. Double check. like explosives or something can't just directly smash the door I don't think maybe I can oh I can well fuck doors I guess wonderful idea good job yep keys are overrated I agree <laughs> a certain button. I just didn't explore more to that part. Okay, so Magnus, hold on to that and to that. And hold on to those. And hold on to that. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot you could just throw a boomerang at the door or whatever and it, it's fine. Boomerangs don't lose dur durability. They're the most broken game, <laughs> broken weapon in the game. <clears throat> Just throw a boomerang at the door and it, it's all good, guys. No weapon damage, nothing. Just too easy. I guess you could also command like a, a minion or whatever to attack a door and it and it also just worked just fine. I'm not sure how the dwarves are gonna react to me smashing their door open though. Probably not well. I don't think anybody would ma react kindly to that. But, uh, we'll try. Hey guys. I guess they don't care.
found an ancient necromancer's laboratory off an old abandoned axis cavern. In researching his journals, I deduced a way to reproduce what he had done through magic by using scientific principles. That's good, nobody died. Hey, there's a key. Thanks, dude. I'll take that key, kindly. open that wall and been like, oh, look at this. We found something cool. <laughs> Looks like a lot of note. Really? Okay. Whatever. Magnus just got destroyed. Holy fuck. Huh. This is gonna be really bad. I can't even see any, like, good result from- Damn! <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, no. Magnus just got, like, one-shot- or nearly one-shotted by that thing. Like, two-thirds of his health and just went, mm, nope. <laughs> and that's- Oh my god, that's like 150 health just gone in a matter of, like, a, a fucking hit. Calling no on that one. Wait, what? How's the door back? I literally just bur destroyed that fucking door. How's the door back? That makes no sense. Whatever. Ugh, okay, cool. This game just revives doors like it's nothing, I guess. right maybe we can actually trigger the quest maybe it'll actually do something nah never mind all right it's a so good it's good yeah let's go ask what's his name about the the book of Duran's truth See if he gives us any more clues.
really gonna get annoying. Need to go down the left side, I think. I believe it's the left side. Can't remember anymore. Yep. Okay, cool. Close enough. Hmm. Raise my charisma up a little bit. An old key lost somewhere in the caves. Once you find that, you need to find a door in one of the cave walls. It was carved right into the stone, and only that key will open it. Okay. So the key is somewhere random, I guess. It's great. All right, very detailed. Thank you. I think this is the one that for the Iron Clan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one for the Iron Clan. Well, oh, he's not helping at all. Okay, so Durin's Truth. I need to go find that. It's probably going to be another trip to the library of Tarant. At least I can tell this guy that I found his brother.
Didn't I leave through this certain entrance? I guess the game's just not gonna let me go through that passage. Whatever. Fuck you, game. Smash open that door. I suppose that's a consideration. Just to smash open the gate. Definitely considering it. Give it a shot. Why not? toy car. Um, nah. Wait, now I'm curious, because it shows the character's sheet. Age 97. Huh. Damn. She's old. How can I help you? What do you need? Age 154? Fuck. Doesn't say what his age is. Age 25. Oh, I can give the arachnid points, I guess. I, that's cool, I suppose. Not really, I can't give him points. Doesn't seem like I don't have the ability to. Whatever. I will say no more. Leave me. I return to my exile. Alright. Well then. Let's return this little train to the dude. I'm sure he'll be happy to have his little train back. Little toy train.
I should probably check the shops to see if they have any uh, schematics that I can use. Miner's helmet. <laughs> oh, I guess that is considered a. Eh, okay. What does she have? She has nothing. Shops. I'm gonna check them real quick. It's still daytime, so they're definitely open. Clockwork physician. Hmm. For a mere 500 coins. Damn. That shit's actually kind of expensive. Clockwork position. Ever been in the midst of battle and find yourself without the time to uncork that heal potion? If so, then the clockwork position is just what you're looking for. Made from a standard clockwork decoy and the wonder drug. This little miracle senses when you're hurt and applies the appropriate dosage. Incredible. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, that's even if I ever get into that. It's neat, but I already have the medical arachnid, so... Whatever, I guess. Yeah. Not gonna really cost me that much. 500 gold, no big deal. I'll keep the schematic. Doesn't hurt to have it. Maybe I'll, somewhere along the line, I'll work towards it. Dwarven steel, sheet metal. Mithril ore. Black diamond. That's a rare one. Get the fuck out of here. I 
Alright, I'm gonna get off. It was fun, but I have things to do today. But I'll be back on later tonight in about probably three hours. So see y'all.